Something I've never talked about on my channel that is something I've always noticed in the Godzilla community is that by the time I came in, that solidified my dreams of becoming a film director. But I also noticed that everybody and their mother wanted to be a film director too. At some point, we either have our dreams crushed of wanting to be a film director or we find something else that we adore, that we would rather do with our lives. And it's really weird too, like why the Godzilla community? Like I've seen other people in their own communities that are not Godzilla and I don't see everybody trying to be a film director. Why Godzilla? Is it the kind of control you get of being a film director? Puppeteering every aspect of filmmaking? If I were to give any advice to you guys, is if you want to be a film director, you need to be direct in your decision making. I mean, it's in the name itself. And I think when you go to college, if you decide to go and take some film courses, that's where you really need to evaluate your life's goals. By the time you arrive in that setting, you realize, wow, other people aside me wants to be a film director too? Everybody wants to be. That's like the first thing I hear. And then the professor breaks the morale down of those people saying you either won't get those dreams or you're going to be something else in the film world. I remember my mother told me growing up that there will always be someone better than you. No matter what. No matter how good you are, you will always have to face someone who's better than you. And I think you'll also come to find out like me that you will probably start out as a PA. A production assistant uh, which is pretty much the lowest of the low in film not to say that's a bad thing but you have to start somewhere obviously some people have the privileges of knowing people in the industry because it's all about networking once again I think something that people forget about filmmaking is that it's all about who you know and how those people can get you into high places I've always thought the right plan is is that you keep making films until one sticks until one really blows up in the public eye, whether it's a film festival or online that gets you into the spotlight. Now for the people who do become PAs, if you don't want to be in there, I recommend not staying in that bubble. Trying to find some way or form to climb that ladder of filmmaking, whether it's to be an assistant cameraman, cinematographer, just like so many things in film people forget they could do. When it came to my college experience in filmmaking, I think people find out, wait, I can be a set designer? I can be a makeup artist? I can just be in front of the camera and say a couple words. There's so many things you could do and I feel like some people just get too stubborn to realize that because they just want to be a film director. Like I'm not moving but at least think about it. You don't have to be at the top to do what you love. I mean when it comes to me I feel like if I didn't want to be a film director I'd love to be an editor as well. I love editing these vlogs or skits or movies you know. It's just something I love. I love editing. I love film directing. I love set design and there's a lot of things. So. I'm not so keen on being a film director, I'm so open to those ideas, like I want an editing job right now. One thing I would like to mention is that like many of you, you're probably filming with a couple human figures and your Godzilla figures at the same time, but if you're filming with human figures and you want to be a film director, you need to stop right now, throw those figures away and get some real people in front of the camera. They could be your friends or anybody you know. The point I'm making is that being a film director means it's a people's job. You're working with people. You're telling them what to do. I feel like after working with a couple people in college, I see that they all, they want to do everything by themselves. I did a lot of the stuff by myself when it came to Apex. I did the set design, the cinematography, the directing, the producing, the acting, a lot of those things. But I came to realize in college that you don't have to do everything. People can actually move the process along if you guide them the right way. In filmmaking, you'll work with all kinds of people. Nice people, hardworking people, assholes. There will always be assholes on set. When it came to my experience of making these figure films, I think what I learned the best at is practicing lighting, practicing set design, practicing camera angles, learning how to do a simple pan. I think Apex has definitely been the most fruitful experience as a filmmaker because I was working with people, yelling at Cam and Chris back and forth, how to do this. They were like, no, do that. That is how you'll learn. Sure, it's great, it's admirable that you could do everything by yourself, but you're really not gaining real experience from the filmmaking world when it comes to working with a crew. If you're gonna make films that are not Godzilla movies, write stories that you know about, topics that you know a lot about. Don't write stuff that you don't know about, if it's a mafia world, if you don't know anything about the mafia world, don't write about it. Write stories about your own experiences in your life. Maybe take that argument you had with someone and blow it out of proportion. Make it dramatic and make everything about the film original. 
Don't take someone else's music. Don't take Hans Zimmer music. Fine, there's a lot of good royalty-free stuff out there. I came to realize how talented the people are around me are. And if you still want to make monster movies, make your own monsters. And once you finish your film, go on filmfreeway.com. Post your film in multiple festivals and see which one sticks. And if you want to be a writer, just write words on the page. Just vomit ideas on a piece of paper. You don't have to write it in that professional screenplay format. Just, just open a Google Doc and just write a bunch of random stuff and maybe start to formulate some idea with coherent structure in that. And one big note I want to give is don't stay on the movie for so long. Don't spend so much time trying to make your first movie perfect. If you've never made a movie before, you're gonna fail on the first try. Here's how I looked at the beginning. There are so many people who get bogged down with the idea that they're so scared of making something that isn't good for the first time. You'll only learn by making that project. And before you know it, if you spend so much time trying to make that one film perfect, You've wasted all this time making other projects. Don't be scared of what people think because your reputation means nothing. Don't think you're Steven Spielberg and you're screwing up making that one movie. You're nobody. How could you be somebody if you've only made one film? So if you want to be a filmmaker, just get out there. Stop wasting time. Make a fucking movie right now. So since many people want to be film directors out there, I just wanted to propagate any kind of knowledge I had growing up only doing this for pretty much my whole life at this point. I started out around 2009, before I was even a Godzilla fan. I had a little Kodak picture camera and just used a recording option, which was like, I'm not kidding, like 144p. And I think I did film my first movie in live action. It was me beating myself up with a bat. And then when it came to Godzilla, that's where I just learned a lot of set design techniques and lighting techniques. I went to film school, but you don't have to go to film school. A lot of it you can learn on YouTube, honestly, or just by making films. The best way to learn about filmmaking is either watching films or making films. Watch stuff out of your comfort zone. Watch stuff that challenges you. Don't stay in this bubble that's called Godzilla for the rest of your life. Because before you know it, if you really wanted to be a filmmaker, all you do is you'll realize you've wasted time. And time is a very valuable thing. So, those are my comments. Do you want to be a film director? Do you want to do something else in filmmaking? Comment below. I want to hear your story. I'm interested to see what you guys think because growing up, I watched a lot of Godzilla YouTubers and I'm like, hey, I want to do that. So I'm interested to see what this next generation of Godzilla YouTubers and fans want to do. What are their goals? So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is KaijuZilla621, signing out.